thing wobbing. What is up guys, it's Dizzle here. I want to talk to y'all about formations and when to reset your game. Uh, from just looking up on the internet, there's a lot of people that don't know when to reset. They don't really know a lot of formations and how to build your team the best way possible. And, uh, you know, this hopefully this guide will help y'all uh, in this game. So, let's start off with my frontliner <clears throat> my frontline is uh Tyrion, and he's kind of my tank so um the reason why i have him as a tank right now is because he does a lot of increased bonus damage to champions as you can see that um and i don't need him as a healer because i think celeste is the best healer right now uh plus i have a lot of bonuses for increased ch champion damage i have two pretty good items um as you can see, I don't have like super great gear, but you know I'm working on it. And and I do apologize, I am sick, guys. So if you hear a lot of sniffles and stuff, <laughs> I am pretty sick. So he's kind of just my tank. Um, you know, he's made to just take a lot of hits. He has a pretty good epic piece, increases his ultimate damage by two seventy five point eight three, which. I wish I could utilize that a little bit better, but you know, it is what it is. I'd rather have him as a frontliner for right now. Um, my second is Naley. Um, now, Naley could be used as a tank as well, but her buff to the back row is just insane. So she does increase damage to all champions, increase the base damage of champions in the column behind Naley by 9.00k, guys. That's a lot of DPS boost. Um, and this and it only affects people in this back row right here. So you want to put Brunor, and then you want to put your two damage dealers that you want in in that row with Brunor, which I'll explain why with Brunor here in a second. Now the reason why you want Celeste right here is because one, she'll be able to heal the tank, and two, she'll be able to buff your damage dealers damage. Uh, <clears throat> so we're gonna look at her upgrade. Increase the base damage of champions next to Celeste by 4.80k, guys. 4.8. So that's another huge boost to DPS. Which my damage dealers right now is Jamala and Hitch. Okay, now let's look at my third row. My third row is Brunor, which Brunor, his rally ability. Increase the base damage champions of the same column as Brunor by 9.00k, which is another huge DPS boost. Now, it's not going to be that much. It, what that's incorporating is all the upgrades because my guys are like really high level 740, 430. So it's incorporating all the um, upgrades to that bonus. Now, the reason why I picked Jamala. And Hitch is because Hitch has this ability called Friendly. Increase the base damage champions by 3.37k if their charisma score is higher than 13. What that means is when you look at a character and you see their stats over here, you see strength, you see dexterity, you see constitution, you see intel, you see wisdom, and then you see charisma. If this is higher than 13, they get affected by this bonus. So since Jamala is going to be my high damage dealer, she's going to get affected by Hitch's bonus. So, um, now I don't have very good gear on her, but she's still dishing out a ton of damage, guys. Um, now we're going to look at Jamala. So as I explained, you know, her f 14 charisma is being affected by Hitch, so she's getting buffed with that as well she's a human now why is that important uh and hitch is also a human so that's also going to come into play eventually later down the road uh, then we're going to look at Kalanopy. so we're going to look at this back row right here uh Kalanopy actually have an epic on her as well increases all champion uh all damage of all champions by 238 uh 31 percent uh, and I also have another one, which isn't very good, but it's another 65%. So, <clears throat> she's uh, increasing a lot of the champion's DPS. Now, why do I want her? 
Well, she has a ability called Barbaric Inspiration. Increase the base damage champions within the column in front of Kalanopy by 4.80. So that's another DPS increase, guys, for the my damage dealers. So that's everyone in front. Now, I have her Ashra. Ashra, uh, I have pretty decent gear on him. Uh, another 120% damage to all champions, but we're going to look at why I picked Ashra. Increase the base damage human champions by 563.03. Now, now you can see where the human comes into play, the race, racial benefit comes into play. So, Jamala is human, Hitch is human. Now, let's look at all my human killer uh, characters. Naley's human. Um, let's see who else. I think Clonopy is human as well. Yeah, she's human as well. So I have four human characters on my team. So they're all being affected by this buff, which is pretty important. Um, now I have Makos in the very back. Why do I have Makos in the very back? Um, the reason being is because he has a buff called Dark Blessing. Increase the base damage a champion is not adjacent to Makos by 750.5%. Now. Makos, don't forget guys, this is not adjacent, so the further away he is, the more bonus he gets, so no, as long as no one's by him, he's going to buff everyone's DPS, so, and it's a by a lot. Now, as you can see, I don't have Minx in my group, why do I not have Minx in my group? He's my most geared character, he's way more geared than Jamala is, and has far superior gear, now why do I not have Minx in my group? Uh... And the reason being why I don't have Minx in my group is one, he doesn't get affected by the charisma bonus. So that's a, that's a huge bonus uh, that Hitch gives. It's a very huge bonus, 3.37k percent. Uh, just for showcase purposes, I'm gonna level up Minx a whole lot of levels, guys. So we're gonna level him up a lot. Do beast rule. And we'll throw one more. One more tin in it. Now we'll we'll just throw them out. So we're gonna replace Jamala with hit uh Minx. Look how much DPS I lost, guys. And remember Jamala is way less gear than him. So as you can see, Jamala is dealing a lot more damage than Minx currently, and he has far superior gear. So gear doesn't always mean everything, guys. Um, just to let you know, it it just it's kind of like a stepping stone towards these other characters. But because what happens is when you get your gold find a lot more, you're gonna be able to unlock these characters sooner, and that's when your builds kind of start coming into play. I'm able to get you know, Tyrael at like level 40, um, so, which Tyrael is the Druid, and, uh, so I'm, you know, able to get this build kind of going pretty quick. Now, I don't know why I leveled a bunch of clip damage, it's kind of irrelevant, but, as you can see, formations are extremely important, every character's doing something in my party, it's not just, um, you know, it's not just one person. I think the only one person that isn't really helping is Jamala because she is the damage dealer. Um, which that's normally what's going to happen. Um, is the damage dealer really won't have like good benefits. Minx is passive, which is uh, favorite enemies beast increases the damage uh, done to beast real enemies by 100%. Uh, that's a good passive, but it's really hit or miss because you're you're constantly transitioning into different levels with different enemies. Um, so I don't like really rolling dice on a passive. I think what they need to do with his passive is kind of combine it uh, with multiple races or creatures. So like have Bistro and creatures together, you know, have imps and something else, you know, just everything kind of. A little bit more clustered together so his passive isn't so hit or miss. Um, I haven't really worked on Archon yet just because he's too expensive for me right now. Which I'm sure Archon will end up replacing 
my front liner or maybe even Jamala uh, because he he has a pretty good passive as well. Um, now, when to reset? When do you reset? Uh, you reset whenever you cannot beat the boss efficiently. When you cannot basically one shot the boss. When it takes you a long time to kill the boss, you want to reset. Now you're probably like, well, don't I want to get more gold gold fine? Well, not really, because gear is more important than gold fine. Gold fine is important when you're fully geared, but it's not important when you're not that geared. You want to get those gems. You want to reset and get those gems as quickly as possible, guys. You want to get those gold chests to get your epics. Um, so, and you can get more silver chest drops as well. So you want to constantly, constantly be resetting whenever you get stumped. You don't want to sit there and grind and grind and grind. Um, so I'm going to show you, I'm going to try to kill this level. Level 110 boss, which I probably won't be able to, but you know, it's okay. Um, normally I'm able to down the 110 boss with my old build, but this build is just far better. more levels into my tank. Kind of want your DPS to kind of kill all the trash real quick. And we're going to throw out a couple ultimates to help with that. Push them back. We're going to stun them. We're going to throw all your ultimates on them. The only ultimate I really can serve is Shielding Bite. And as you can see how long it's taken me to kill this boss, this is not efficient at all, guys. You just want to reset. When this is happening, just reset and continue uh, running to get those gems, get those chests. Uh, you know, because the more gear you have, the better gear you have, the more effective your team is going to be. Uh, because look at these some of these epics, guys. 275% from one item. That's the type of stuff you want. So I appreciate you watching this guide. I hope it helps. If you have any questions, leave a comment down in the, in the comment section below. Please hit the like button or dislike button if you thought this guide was good or bad. Um, and I appreciate you tuning in, guys.